Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. We're talking about dressing for success, putting on the whole armor of God, praying in the Spirit. We've got the helmet of salvation on and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God in our hand. And we're using the praying in the Spirit, the model from the Lord's Prayer. And we're in Matthew chapter 6, chapter 6 verse 13. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, I mean, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The kingdom, the power, and the glory belongs to God. Romans chapter 14 and verse 11, uh, Paul writes, It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me. Every tongue will confess to God. Make no mistake about it. You might think you're running things now. You might think that you're in control. You might be able to manipulate situations. You might think that you are the head of the church. You're the head of the family. But Christ is the head, my friends. And one day every knee will bow and make that confession. So then each of us will give an account one day to himself, to God. So, you think that you're running the show? No, my friends. Christ is the head of it all. He is the head, and one day everyone will, will bow and confess and say that he is Lord. It's, that will be a wonderful day, my friends, when, we, when he comes back and we're with him and our Lord Jesus is running the world. And that's what I look forward to. Not those who have made it a, a real comedy show. Jesus Christ will be running the show. Thy kingdom come. Thy power on this earth. Power and glory to him. Amen. We praise him. We give him honor. And we give him glory. He is sovereign. Do you want power to control? Do you want power for influence? Or is it about fear? Do you want to experience the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, then let the power of the Holy Spirit work in your life. Let the power of the Spirit move. Well, how do you do that? How do you allow the power to work in your life? James writes in chapter 4 and verse 7, Submit yourselves to God. Humble yourselves before Him. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You want to experience the power of God in your life? Surrender to Him. Submit to Him. Allow the word to, to soak into your mind as the Spirit speaks to you. Submit to our Lord Jesus Christ and allow the power of the Spirit, of His Holy Spirit that lives in us, His power that lives inside of us to work through us according to His will. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things.